good morning today we will be covering the market update dated the 28th of July 2022 Indian indices opened gap up today with nifty above 17000 on the back of positive global cues in contrast to previous close of 16929 points Sensex opened on positive note with indices above 57000 in contrast to previous close of 56857 points For the recent development in the corporate world we have Realty firm Macrotech Developers has formed three joint ventures with landowners during April to June quarter to develop housing projects with an estimated sales value of 6,200 crore rupees and is exploring for more tie-ups. Company is looking to form more partnerships across its three focus markets, Mumbai Metropolitan Region, Pune and Bengaluru to expand its business in a asset-light manner and achieve higher growth. Mumbai-based Macrotech Developers, erstwhile Lodha Developers, is one of the leading real estate developers in the country and sells its properties under Lodha brand. In Pune, the company has signed a JDA to develop a housing project comprising 3.3 million square feet with potential sales bookings of 2,600 crore rupees. Macrotech Developers has forayed into Bengaluru property market where it will develop 1.3 million square feet area with sales bookings value of 1,200 crore rupees. Jubilant Food Works has entered into share subscription agreement, shareholders agreement and share purchase agreement dated the 28th of July 2022 to acquire 40% stake, fully diluted basis, in Broadcast Tech Solutions. This investment reflects the company's intent of making strategic investments in promising startups and emerging businesses and is in line with the stated goal of building a multi-brand and multi-country food business powered by technology. Broadcast Tech Solutions offers a logistics platform for management of last-mile delivery operations. Capital Markets Regulator Securities and Exchange Board of India has granted in principle approval for change in control of HDFC property ventures. Change in control will happen pursuant to the merger of HDFC and HDFC Bank. In April this year, HDFC Bank and its parent company HDFC got approvals from their respective boards for the proposed scheme of amalgamation. HDFC and HDFC Bank have received no adverse observations, objection from the stock exchanges, BSE and NSE, for the deal. Earlier this month, HDFC Bank received Reserve Bank of India's nod for the proposed merger. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via miss call, WhatsApp or email. Thank you for being patient and listening the video to the end. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel to know the latest updates in the market. That's all for today. See you tomorrow.